Colleen Gray has a vitamin D deficiency. She admits her lifestyle prevents her from getting enough sun exposure necessary to produce the vitamin. I work all the time, and usually when I'm off work, the sun is not out. So it's kind of hard to grasp, you know, sunlight if you're working all the time. Mercy Medical Center Dr. Amber Champion says vitamin D is necessary to absorb calcium, and the two work together to build and keep our bones strong. And while doctors don't screen everyone for vitamin D deficiencies, some people are more at risk. Those people who are at risk would be um, people who don't get a lot of sunlight exposure. Um, if they have dark skin pigment that blocks some of the uh, sunlight exposure, a malabsorption syndrome from gastrointestinal disease, as well as older adults or people who are overweight or obese. So how much vitamin D do you need? Dr. Champion says there's really not an ideal amount. Anywhere between 600 and 2,000 units a day in your, in your diet and through your skin. And foods rich in vitamin D include fatty fish like salmon and tuna, eggs and dairy products like yogurt and milk fortified with vitamin D. Celine now takes vitamin D supplements but has also taken on a new way of life. I'm starting to exercise more, walking, and that'll get me out into the sunlight because I like to do it early in the morning, and um, changing my diet. Mindy Becerra, WBAL, TV 11 News.